Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another what I eat in a week video. I filmed my first what I eat in a week video I think like a month ago now and it did really well, you guys loved it and I think I much prefer it as like a way of showing you what I'm eating rather than what I eat in a day videos just because you can get so much more content into one of these videos so I think I'm going to continue with these doing them monthly. I just wanted to do a quick disclaimer before this video, not that I need to make excuses for how I eat but the week that I filmed this I was quite stressed and so it is a bit less nutritious than I would like to recommend <laughs> you eat. Normally I would have a day or two like this but I kind of ate consistently for the whole week you know like not getting my five a day, lots of carbs, lots of fat. So although I would recommend all these foods separately, like I'm no regrets, they were all really good, I would recommend all this food separately. I probably wouldn't recommend that you eat it all in one week but once I edited the video and watched it back and realised you know it's not the most ideal representation of a weekly diet, I didn't want to swap any meals out for healthy alternatives because that would just be a big fat lie. I really hope you enjoy, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up if it's helpful or entertaining or you just enjoy it and make sure to subscribe for future vegan content and let's get into the video. So on Monday, oh by the way as well I do intermittent fasting so I eat between the hours of sort of 12ish in the afternoon until about 8pm so often my first meal of the day, although it's technically breakfast, I will usually eat something that most people wouldn't eat at like 8 or 9 in the morning, it's more like lunch but it's my first meal of the day. Anyway, so that's why I had a chicken tikka toasty for breakfast on Monday. I use the This Isn't Chicken Tikka and I love this brand so much, they're so so good. I get mine from Milk and More because it's free delivery and I have a five pound off code. And yeah, this was really good. It was super quick and easy to make and this chicken tikka has a lot of flavour so it's literally, I just put it in there with some cheese and then had some of this kebab house chilli sauce on the side and that was a really good breakfast lunch kind of thing. And then for my second meal of the day I had a stir fry with some mushroom and broccoli and this marinated tofu by Cauldron which I love. This was my first time having it but it's so nice like the texture and the taste is just amazing. I think it's my favourite tofu. So yeah I just had that with some broccoli and mushrooms and just stir fried it all together. This is all very self-explanatory like I'm aware you guys know how to make a stir fry. I just feel like I need to fill in the gaps when I'm doing voiceovers. So then I added in my noodles and this chow mein sauce. I think it's from Aldi. You do kind of need to be careful with ready-made stir-fry sauces because sometimes they can have like fish or oysters or something in. But yeah, this one's completely vegan. So that was it. This is literally the easiest meal in the world to make. And then I just topped it with some seeds and some sriracha. I think I put sriracha on all my meals in this video because I'm still obsessed with it. I'm pretty sure I was obsessed in my last what I eat in a day. And then for dinner we had a roast. So we used these fries, meat-free country pies. They're basically like chicken and mushroom and they're really nice, I much prefer them to a lot of vegan pies we've eaten. They have a kind of soggy bottom which personally if it was me making them I would have turned them out in the oven and made the bottom crispy too but Danny prefers them soggy, a lot of people do so I'm not gonna judge. And we had that with some broccoli, sweet corn, peas and some roast potatoes and tons of gravy. If it's not swimming in gravy I don't I don't want to see it. And then for dessert we split one of these donuts from Donuts that my sister bought over. I love donuts, vegan donuts, they are so so good. This one was I think like chocolate mud pie or something like that, it was really good but we were so full from the roast so we just split one. On Tuesday I just had my usual protein shake smoothie thing that you see in every single food video that I do, it's just half a frozen banana, a bunch of plant-based milk, I usually use unsweetened almond milk but here I'm using oat milk, and then some agave for sweetness and a big spoon of chocolate Paulson protein powder and then you just blend it all up. And I just had that with one of these cacao brownie bars from Aldi and this is the flavour peanut and salted caramel, it's like kind of like a healthy Snickers. It's basically a knockoff Paulson bar and it's really delicious and I think they're three for a pound which I think is really affordable. And then for lunch I had mushrooms what did I have with these mushrooms edamame I had mushrooms and edamame is this a stir fry I think it's another stir fry um oh it was like a veggie bowl yes yeah, so I fried some mushrooms and some broccoli with some frozen edamame and added some that's either soy sauce or henderson's relish I'm not sure they're both 
good on vegetables though, would highly recommend. And then I just stir fried that for a few minutes and then once it was cooked I added it to my bowl so I could cook up my tempeh. This is from the brand Better Nature and this is their like Indian tikka flavoured tempeh which was really good, it was really full of flavour, great texture if you're into tempeh which I kind of am. Tempeh is like a really good source of protein if you're bored of tofu. And yeah, because this was kind of Indian flavoured, I made like a yogurt chutney to go with it. So I just used some Alpro plain yogurt and added some chutney and mixed that all up and used it as a dressing on top. And this was just a really delicious meal, like quite random ingredients, but it was so, so good. I love food like this. I just, sometimes my brain doesn't know what to cook and I end up just having pizza instead which is what you're about to see for the rest of this video pretty much. So for dinner on Tuesday I decided to make mac and cheese so for that I just used nutritional yeast, Henderson's relish, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, plain flour, two different types of cheese. You could probably just use one but I think using two gives it a bit of something and then some butter, pasta and almond milk. I also got bacon out as you can see but I didn't actually end up using the bacon because it was super smoky flavoured just from the applewood vegan cheese anyway. So for this recipe I just melted two tablespoons of butter in a pan and then added two tablespoons of flour. You want to mix this to make it like a paste so if it goes kind of crumbly then just add more butter like you want it to look like this. So it's all like smooth and creamy and stuff and then you slowly add your plant-based milk, I added about 600 or 700 millilitres, um, but obviously add it slowly, like add it sort of 150 ml at a time. And then add as much nutritional yeast as you like. I finished the tub <laughs> because we really, really like nutritional yeast in this house, I think most vegans do. And then I added a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, salt, and a whole bunch of cheese. I obviously didn't measure this, I just added however much I wanted. Never actually made a cheese sauce before, but this was insanely good, like so, so good. I added some Henderson's relish there as well, and then just added my pasta a bit by bit and mixed it all up, and it was so good. I'm literally getting so hungry just looking at this. It was easily the best mac and cheese I've ever eaten in my life. I will leave the recipe linked below in case I didn't explain it properly, but it's actually like the most easy thing ever. Oh, look how delicious it is. I could eat this every single day if it wouldn't probably kill me. On Wednesday for breakfast, we made my all-time favourite garlic mushrooms. I literally eat these well, I was about to say I eat these every single day, but as you can see in this video, that is a complete lie. But I would eat these every single day if I could. We also added some cream cheese on this day, but you really don't need to do that. We were just feeling fancy. So you just want to chop up half a red onion and a couple of cloves of garlic and saute that for a little bit and then add your mushrooms and mix it all together. We probably cook it for like six minutes in total. I also fried up some of this marinated tofu that I got from Milk and More. Similar to the one I used earlier, this is already a really great texture, really great flavour, so you literally just add it to a pan and fry it and it's good to go. Then I added some Henderson's relish to the mushrooms to make them all savoury and lovely and I also added some mixed herbs. I am very ashamed looking at this shot of how ugly this breakfast looks considering how good it tastes. Like you're going to need to just believe me that it tastes insane because I'm aware this just looks really beige and bland and flavourless but it was all so nice. Yeah it maybe could have done with some like tomatoes on the side or some spinach but it was really good. And then for lunch I was feeling lazy as I was for most of this video so we shared a Goodfellas falafel pizza which is still one of my favourites. I know everyone laughed when this came out because it has no cheese on and it has falafel and hummus on and it literally just looks like someone has tried to make a vegan pizza and failed but genuinely it's so good and I had that with sriracha. And then I had a cup of tea which I know most people would not include a cup of tea in their what I eat in a day or week videos but I have a cup of tea like twice a month so it is actually quite a rare treat for me and I had it with some of these Oreo crunchy bites, which I actually probably wouldn't recommend. They were just a bit too crunchy and they didn't have enough cream in and yeah, the ratio was all off. Then for dinner, we had spaghetti with bolognese. I think this was mushroom bolognese. Um, Danny made this, so I don't actually have any footage of it being cooked or the recipe or anything. He didn't realize I was making this video, so he just kind of went ahead and made dinner, which is fine, obviously. <laughs> um, but I think it was kind of your standard. I mean, he's actually very, very good at at making pasta sauce so I probably should have asked him for the recipe before this but I think it's kind of just like tomato, onion, garlic, sugar, marmite maybe, soy sauce, veggie stock cube, 
um, salt and pepper. I think that's actually it. It's super simple. It's just really delicious. Then on Thursday, I had one of my Yasmin special super basic sandwiches, which was corn ham, via life grated cheese, a little bit of mayo. I would have loved some cucumber in this. I love cucumber and iceberg lettuce in sandwiches like this. But yeah, I just had that with some prawn cocktail crisps. Yes, that was my breakfast. And then for a little snack, I had one of these snicker bites, which I got sent from a brand called Fudge and Splat. And this was really good. This was like the best vegan chocolate I've ever had. Like no joke, it was unreal. Okay, so on this day I ate at really weird times. I think I had my sandwich at like 2 p.m. and then we had dinner at like half six. So there's only two meals on this day. But yeah, for dinner we had this kind of very beige Indian fake away. We do this a lot. My mum sent over some dal. She makes the best dal ever. It's so good. I don't know how she does it. And then we had a bunch of sort of frozen Indian things like we had these samosas from Tesco and then we had these aloo tiki from oh this like local Indian supermarket so these are basically like spicy potato balls they're so so good and then we just had it with an array of condiments because condiments make dinners like this so we had mixed pickle chili sauce all in one chutney so this kind of tasted like onion and coriander and mint and then lime pickle and I'm aware this looks super beige and bland and boring yet again but honestly I think meals like this can sometimes be the best especially if you add a ridiculous amount of pickle and chutney. I'm aware it looks unappealing I promise it was delicious. Then on Friday I had world's most basic English breakfast I had beans on toast which I don't need to tell you how to make but before I put the beans in the microwave I added some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, chilli powder and a tiny bit of Henderson's relish and then I just microwaved that, put it on my toast and covered it in a load of nutritional yeast. If you aren't vegan and don't know what nutritional yeast is then this probably looks disgusting. And then I had an iced latte which was just oat milk, ice, agave and coffee and that was really good. I'm so happy I know how to make good iced lattes from home now because I'm saving so much money. I mean we're in lockdown anyway but yeah, this was a really good breakfast, big fan. Then for lunch I had, this is so basic, co-op have started doing brioche vegan buns, which I didn't realise, and I went there and they were reduced on offer, and so were the burgers, like what are the chances? The world just wanted me to have a burger for lunch this day. So I toasted the brioche buns for a little bit, and then I put mayo and vegan cheese on there with the burger and then I put some Nando's hot sauce on there and that was it. It was really good though, like kind of basic but really good. Continuing with the co-op theme, I got a pizza for dinner. I split this with Danny. It's actually really small and I would have happily eaten the whole thing myself because I think this is my favourite vegan shop-bought pizza ever. It doesn't really taste like pizza, it kind of tastes like Indian flatbread because it's got like spiced cauliflower um like a curry sauce kind of thing and then chilies on there but it's so good really hot I will warn you it's very spicy but it's really delicious and we had that with some Aldi vegan coleslaw and some crisps this is a kind of weird dinner it's very snacky but it was really delicious and quick and easy and that marks the end of this video please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you want me to make more of these in the future don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and I will see you all next week bye